Hey guys, how's it going? Haven't recorded in a long time, and I want to start doing stuff again. Now I have some time to, so... Oh my lord. Anyway, today, at a local thrift store, I bought a bunch of movies that were on sale for about $2 a piece, and so there's quite a bit of them here. But I tried to pick out all the ones I thought that were worth buying, uh, which doesn't mean that they're all great movies at all, but... For different reasons I'll go over, and I haven't seen all of them. First of all, Despicable 3, Despicable Me 3. I've seen the first one, and, and I like it. A lot of people like it. It's, this is still in the plastic. <laughs> this is the Blu-ray. And, uh, well, anyways, at Goodwill, I think in another video I showed, maybe I didn't show, I don't know, but I, I picked up the first two on Blu-ray, I think, so now I have the third one. So, fair enough. Um... Anyway, I Am Legend. I was really looking forward to this movie when it came out, and I saw it in theater, and I was very disappointed. I actually really don't like this movie very much at all, and I was really debating on whether I should get it or not, but I know a lot of people kind of do like this movie. I don't think Will Smith has been a great actor for a long time. Uh, you know, Men in Black is, is awesome, which I picked that up, actually, too, in this slot, but... You know, it's like a post-apocalyptic world or so, and there's like zombies, or, you know, they're not really zombies, but I don't remember what exactly the story is, but basically he's supposed to be like one of the last men alive on the earth, like with his dog, and like these monsters, like people have been tested on or whatever. I was disappointed with um, the CGI and stuff, I don't know. It just wasn't what I thought it was uh, going to be, but there were some good things about it, but overall, yeah, I didn't like it, but I did see it in the theater, and so it's kind of nostalgic for me, it's been a long time. Scorpion King, I can't really remember whether I really like this a lot or not, but uh, it does have The Rock, and yeah, I mean, it's one of the first movies that he got really big in, I mean, he made Walking Tall and The Rundown and maybe some other ones, but I know The Scorpion King really started to get his push. And personally, I mean, he's he's been a great wrestler. I'm a wrestling fan, and a couple of these purchases are a few of these are because of that, actually. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know. I, I I've passed it up so many times, buying movies at thrift stores and stuff and sales, and I always wonder have I already bought that movie or not. Well, I finally finalized my list, and I don't have it, so. They had some of the other ones, like Part 3, Part 4. I didn't even know there were so many. But um, I decided just to pick this one up. They also had The Mummy, which this is basically kind of supposed to be like the sequel to The Mummy or the prequel or something. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I might as well buy it at this point. I crossed it so many times. See No Evil, I think, was actually pretty decent uh, with Kane, the wrestler. It's a horror movie. And uh, he's like a killer in this. Um, and I thought it was okay when I remember when I first watched it. Maybe kind of biased, but I mean, I've seen a lot of horror movies, and I thought it was okay. Not really, you know, fantastic, but uh, not disappointing. So, I would suggest that. Bringing Down the House, I watched this when I was in rehab. It has Steve Martin, okay, he's great. Queen Latifah, she's okay, I guess. Um, but I think that he was supposed to meet a woman online. And he meets Queen Latifah, and she's, like, nothing what she says she's like online. Like, she catfishes him or whatever. And so they have, like, a relationship, and it's this odd relationship. But, you know, I think it's pretty funny. And like I said, it's nostalgic to me, so I was like, whatever. I, I, I went out on a limb on a lot of these movies that I got today. Black Hawk Down. Don't know anything about it, but I like war movies. And I looked it up on Rotten Tomatoes, and it seems like it has a pretty high rating. It has two Academy Awards, apparently. So, maybe it's something I need to see. Black Hawk Down. Another, We Were Soldiers. Never seen this. But I like Mel Gibson. I like war movies. I had a good rating on Rotten Tomatoes. So I said, why not? Remember the Titans. Don't think I've ever watched this. I'm not a huge football fan, but I am trying to get more into sports. I'm really trying to get into hockey. I really want to see some Blackhawks games. Uh, this is a Walt Disney movie. Again, it has a good rating. It has Denzel Washington. I know I've heard the title before. I know it's popular. Haven't seen it. 
might be surprised, but I'd like to watch it sometime. I'm going to watch a lot of sports movies. Another one I don't think that I've seen, but this is One Crazy Summer with John Cusack and Demi Moore. I love John Cusack's movies. I love the 80s. I love the 80s movies. And uh, I don't think this is one that I've seen, but uh, you know, I wouldn't mind having all of his movies. And they're not always like spectacular, but they're enjoyable. They're good popcorn movies, I guess, as you'd say. But I already have High Fidelity and uh, Hot Tub Time Machine. You know, it's kind of like a newer one with John Cusack. There's a lot of good ones, um, but... Oh boy, I can't think of the one that's really great that I don't have. Anyways, I think it's interesting how they have kind of animated scenes in some of his movies. I don't know if that was kind of like a theme. I don't know if it was a particular director, because I don't know who directed these movies. But, uh... Man, I can't think of that other John Cusack movie. Oh well, who cares? Yeah, this is probably good. I looked at the trailer. Yeah. It also has, you know, whoever. Bobcat, who was popular back in the day. Uh, was he the one that was in the Police Academy movies? I think so. Recently, Rambo Raft for Life was talking about Tim Burton and his favorite Tim Burton movies, and I was like... He said Ed Wood and Sleepy Hollow were like his favorite Tim Burton movies. I've never seen Sleepy Hollow. Um, I think I've seen Ed Wood. I think that's pretty good. But I said, what about Batman Returns? I think Batman Returns might be one of my favorites. But he's Tim Burton used to have so many good ones. Edward Scissorhands and, and who knows what else. But you know, now he kind of stinks. But I've never seen this. Rambo Raft for Life really likes this. He said it's bloody and stuff, I guess. I don't know. I think that I've always skipped it because I don't think that I would like it, but I really don't know what it's all about and stuff. And I don't know. Maybe... I don't even know that I knew it was a Tim Burton movie until recently, so I don't know. Now, this movie I really went out on a limb on. This is Milk Money. It has a horrible rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but I do remember seeing this when I was a little kid. I don't remember a lot about it. These three kids want to get these three brothers or whatever, I think, or maybe it's just one kid. So, I don't know. Anyways, their dad, for whatever reason, doesn't have a wife. She died or something. They end up getting this woman to be with him. I think she's like a prostitute or something. I don't know what she does. But, uh, like, they end up paying her to, like, to date him. And it's, you know, a corny old movie. It's from the 90s. And, uh, I'm not really saying this is great. I really was wondering, you know, should I get this or not? I was like, if I don't get this, I'll probably never remember that this movie exists again. But I was like, you oh, know, I might want to watch it again. Maybe I'll give a review. Gone with the Wind. I've never seen it. But everybody knows that it's popular, right? So I might as well go ahead and pick it up. Never seen this. I've also never seen this, The Hunt for the Red October big title. It's obviously popular. Sean Connery. Another kind of war movie. I guess this is like a Navy one. Is it? Black Hawk Down. It's like Air Force or something. We Were Soldiers is like the infantry. Okay, the 40-year-old version. I don't think I've ever really sat through and watched this, but I know I've seen parts of it. I remember like I think my dad rented it a long time ago. I know it's popular. A lot of people like it. Steve Carell is funny. I do like him. Um, so, you know, it's one I was like, why not? I might as well. Clerks 2. This one I really do like. I really do like Kevin Smith's movies. Um, I love the first Clerks a lot. Clerks 2 was a pretty decent sequel. Of course, the first Clerks was in black and white. You know, it was all about dialogue and they're working at a gas station. The second one, they're working at a fast food place, and it's in color. And, uh, you know, it's really memorable for me at the end when Jay and Silent Bob are going, kicking kids' asses who are, uh, talking crap about them online or whatever. And really, I went there to get Jay and Silent Bob because I went to the thrift store before and I bought a few movies, and I remember that I... I passed up this Jay and Silent Bob movie, and I didn't know if I had it or not, and then once I 
figured out all my movies, I realized that I didn't have it. And I was like, man, I kind of want to go back. So I've been waiting to go back. So I finally went back. And then, you know, they had Clerks 2, too. I was like, okay, even another bonus for Kevin Smith movies. Resident Evil Afterlife. I like the first one. I've never really sat through and watched the other ones. Um, but now I think that I officially own them all. And I know that <laughs> all of them besides the first one are supposed to be, like, trash. But uh, uh, I guess I have the complete trash collection of the rest of the movies. Bending the Rules. I was really thinking about not getting this one. But it stars WWE's wrestler Edge, who actually just won the Royal Rumble, coming in at number one. Uh... Last, outlasting 29 other guys in the Royal Rumble to face uh, probably Roman Reigns, I guess, at WrestleMania for the WWE title, which he'll probably win. Uh, Edge had a great wrestling career, and he got his neck was like so bad that he had to retire early, and he just recently came back, and he's making his way in wrestling again. I guess he made this movie. I don't know if he made any other movies. This has Jamie Kennedy, too. I really expect this movie to be complete trash, but I figured, why the hell not? I'll watch it sometime, and we'll see. Might be surprised, but I kind of doubt it. Men in Black, which I was kind of happy to find. This is like a slipcover one. Um, and I'm pretty sure I should have checked, double-checked to see that I have this, but I think I just have Men in Black 2. Um, because everywhere you go, you always see Men in Black 2, like every thrift store and stuff. There's always Men in Black 2, but it's never the first one. So here it is, and it's a deluxe edition with a slipcover. So they had some kind of nice additions at this thrift store, too. So I'm glad that it's one Will Smith movie I like. Now here's Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back, the collector series. This is like a double, you know, an extra thick case here. It's got two sides. Um... So, I'm happy about this. The Hobbit, which I don't think that I have, but um, I've got all the Lord of the Rings movies, so now The Hobbit as well. Pirates of the Caribbean, I've got one or two of them. I'm pretty sure I didn't have this one. Some of these I didn't even check. I spent so much time looking at these movies and looking at the ratings and stuff anyway, but world's end and i know a lot of these are trash um too kind of but i don't care so i'm going to end up collecting all of these star trek never been really a huge star trek fan um but i saw this and i was like that looks like a good it's a two disc edition this is the uh was it 2000 and uh nine movie uh, it has phenomenal ratings, so even people who said they don't know anything about Star Trek or they're not fans of, like, sci-fi and stuff or whatever, a lot of people seem to love this movie for whatever reason, so, and even fans, I think, of the original Star Trek are pleased, so, I'm interested to watch this one. How to Train Your Dragon, this is the last one that I have, this is the first one I saw in theater, I thought it was pretty good. You know, there was a time when there was a lot of these that were popular, uh, these animated movies like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and How to Train a Dragon, and they seem to kind of balance kind of like a ch children's, but also kind of adults can enjoy kind of movies, and um, I enjoyed this, so I'm glad to have this in my collection too. So there's that, some, some, some bizarre ones, some really good ones, um, a lot of ones that are kind of new to me though, really, so... But I went there to get Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I'm glad that I got that. You know. I think there's kind of a lot of gems in here. Especially since, like, Matt said he loves Sleepy Hollow. And then I found that there. So I saw they had, like, a Sleepy Hollow TV series or something, too. And I was like, that's not the movie. But I kept looking. And I kept looking. Like, I really examined these, like, you know, piles of DVDs that on the shelves, and I make sure that, you know, I comb through them, so, you know, anyway, that's that, so, 
I'm going to add these to my collection. So, God bless.